The Iowa caucuses took the temperature for the first phase of the race for the White House. Now all eyes are on New Hampshire, just a week away for the first in the nation Republican primary. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live now from Manchester, Boston Regional Airport, where the candidates are expected to arrive today. Melissa, what's going on? That's right, Alyssa and John. We are on the ground here in Manchester, New Hampshire. Now, following the win in Iowa, that was expected for Donald Trump, and it's expected to give him some momentum as this campaign trail kicks off. That being said, this part of the 2024 election is unlike any before. Voters usually watch Iowa and New Hampshire to get to know the candidates. The 2024 race for Republicans is unique because now there's a former president running. Matt Dickinson of Middlebury Political Analyst says New Hampshire is historically known as a state that can act as a wild card in the nomination process. Donald Trump is uh, enough of an established name um, and has that strong support among the conservative wing that he will probably win. New Hampshire, I think Nikki Haley has shown that she's closing fast. Um, and her closing argument is, uh, I think, reflected in the degree to which her opponents uh, or their surrogates are beginning to attack her, um, attacking her record and calling her a closet liberal, a closet Democrat. Uh, and I think that is the difficulty going forward for Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley has been campaigning in New Hampshire the past few weeks, even receiving an endorsement from Governor Chris Sununu. Dickinson says endorsements do matter, but more so here in New Hampshire as opposed to Iowa. And I think the more important element of New Hampshire is who's the alternative to Trump. And, it, you know, Ron DeSantis uh, used to be viewed as that alternative. And certainly uh, in New Hampshire, polls suggest he's fallen off the map. So I think she, it, she doesn't have to win, but a close second will position her going forward as if you're a never Trumper, who's the one candidate to back? It's Nikki Haley. So she wants to distance herself from Ron DeSantis more than she needs to be defeat Don, Donald Trump, I believe, in New Hampshire. Former President Donald Trump is kicking off his run in the Granite State with campaign events all week, starting tonight in Atkinson. Nikki Haley is doing the same with an event tonight in Bretton Woods. And because both Haley and Trump do have events in New Hampshire starting today throughout the week, we expect them to be in the Granite State at some point today, likely soon. As for DeSantis, CBS National is reporting that he's stopping in South Carolina first before coming back to New Hampshire for the debate later this week. Live in Manchester, New Hampshire, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.